Here's figure 4.4 from the book. Now the preferences in this figure take the form utility equals F times C. The price of food is $20 and the price of clothing is $40. So with the functional form F times C, the marginal utility of F is equal to C and the marginal utility of C is equal to F. So let's consider basket B. The marginal rate of substitution at B, we can find its expression. It's going to be the marginal utility of F divided by the marginal utility of C. Looking back at our previous slide, we can plug in C over F. This is the rate at which I'm willing to give up clothing to get one more unit of F. Now at basket B, we know what clothing and food are. 16 units of clothing and 8 units of food. Plugging that in, I can find that at B, the marginal rate of substitution is 2. This consumer is willing to give up two units of clothing to get one more unit of food. Let's calculate the slope of the budget line. Well, the slope of the budget line is always the negative PX over PY. In this case, that's the price of food divided by the price of clothing. We're given that the price of food is $20 and the price of clothing is $40. So the slope of the budget line is a negative one half. So at basket B, we know the marginal rate of substitution is 2. That tells us the slope of the indifference curve at point B is negative 2. We know the slope of the budget line is negative 1 half. So at point B, the indifference curve is steeper than the budget line. What this means is the consumer's rate of substitution is greater than the market's rate of substitution. The consumer is willing to give up two clothing to get one more food, but at the market rate, they're required to give up half a clothing for one more food. So since the consumer is willing to give up more than he needs to, we know basket B is not optimal.